with the statistics warehouse there, you have really full freedom on the, the way you want to present the data. So uh, if you really are not satisfied with the pre-selection done by the BIS, that's the tool to use the, the warehouse. Uh, now to, um, to illustrate, uh, to illustrate uh, th this warehouse, I've, uh, I just go here, I click here on statistics warehouse and on the top you see the different uh, data set. So I go uh, to the BIS long series on total credit. Here I am, and uh, so this is um, a data set that um, we have, uh, if you want, enriched in September because before it was limited to the private sector, and now we have also uh, the general government. Um, these two data sets complement each other very well uh, because we have emphasized the, the comparability aspect regarding the coverage of the uh, creditor sector, the instrument, and so on. If you want to see how to use it, you click here on the, on the top uh, left, uh, expand the filter view to show the full query detail, and you see here the dimension of the data set. So for instance, if you, let's start with uh, selecting some countries, Germany, uh, I don't know, Italy, um, the US are hidden there somewhere here, and uh, Japan, for instance, and you can, uh, so these are the countries that you have selected, good. Uh, now, uh, you would like to have the borrowing sector. If you click here, you see which are the sector. I will focus on the general government because it's the last data set that we have uh, included. Uh, uh, in, uh, in in this uh, database, and uh, well, you have here the choice from uh, lending sector only between all sectors, uh, the valuation, nominal value, and market value. This is an important feature of this government uh, the credit to the government data set because it's, uh, it shows that the inference uh, that uh, the interest rates can have on the valuation when you use the market value. Uh, you will see that uh, for some countries, the difference between the credit to the government at nominal market value is pretty high. Unit type, uh, here I will keep the percentage of GDP because it allows you to compare more easily between countries. We have, if you are interested in the possibility to select US dollar or even the domestic currency, uh, but as I say, I keep it this one type adjustment, the series uh, is adjusted for break, we have no choice. In the other part of the database, which is the credit to the private sector, you can have also the row series before adjustment. And the time, I mean, I will select, for instance, the sixth last observation. And when I do, I, I've done this, I select the query, and then I have a table. You can see it, it, it uh, presents uh, the difference in that case between the market value and the nominal value. And you can see in some countries, it's interesting to see that for Italy, for instance, the difference between the market value and the nominal value in the first quarter of 2015 was 24% of GDP, which is pretty enormous. And this indicates the importance of clearly defined evaluation of the credit or the debt, if you prefer to take the point of view of the debtor, uh, because it changed completely the picture. Uh, for other countries, it's not always so high. For Japan, you have only 9%, uh, and for the US, you have uh, 5%, only difference between the two valuations. But it's very important, and we wanted to keep these two valuations in our database because uh, when you look at some documents, some statistics, sometimes it's not always perfectly documented uh, the, the valuation type of, of the data, and as you can see, it's very, very important. So now what we did uh, compiling this database, I already mentioned it, is really focusing a lot on the consistency. So uh, we wanted to have a cons the same a definition the same coverage for the lending sector, so it's the general government, including lo local authorities, 
social security funds if they are um, in the country. Uh, regarding the instrument, and this is also very, very important, we cover what we call the core debt, which is a pretty restricted um, coverage of the of the credit uh, to the government, or is its debt, if you want. Uh, but it's available really why, uh, very broadly across countries, and we have really um, comparisons that are very meaningful. Uh, there are other part of the elements of the debt, sorry, other elements like, for instance, the other accounts payable, but we didn't include them because we have realized that they are not really comparable across countries. So we limit ourselves to this core debt, and the big advantage is also we follow the same definition as we did uh, two years ago on the private debt, so the, you can easily compare the private debt and and uh, uh, the government debt with these data.